Meet Alafin of Oyo, His Imperial Majesty Oba Lamidi Ola Yuwola Adeyemi III, who has a realm of beautiful young queens and he doesn't fail to showcase them whenever he has the opportunity. Hi guys, you're watching MTP series. If you're a subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification on if you like the vibe of this channel. So, Alafi of Oyo, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Lamidi Ola Yuwola Ademidi, who is 81 years old, is a Nigerian monarch who has a harem of young, beautiful queens, all light skinned, fashionable, and very social media savvy, where they showcase their lifestyle to envy of their fans. Most often, it is very difficult to know the exact number of his wife because even with this family portrait he recently released, it is very clear that Olori Baderat Ola Iton Adeyemi, popularly known as Queen Ola, is conspicuously missing in this picture. Although some people believe that she's not supposed to be in any way close to the palace because of the alleged illicit affair with Kwan Wan, the Fuji singer King Wasu Ainde. However, the both parties involved have long debunked the whole story, stating that any sort of this never happened. Like I said, Alafin is fond of displaying his wives during the daughter's wedding. His wives were on public display again and some people believe that the wives were not complete, that the senior wife, the most senior, was not present at the event. Ayaba Abibat Adeyemi, who is 80 years of age, almost the same age with the monarch, and their marriage has lasted for 58 years. She is the mother of the monarch's first children. One thing that is certain is that he is always seen in the midst of his wives, maybe not all, maybe a few of them. Like when they went for shopping in London, their bright Ankara dresses attracted so much attention. A lot of Oyo also likes to spend time in boxing training and some of his wife like the sports as well. This has gone to show that he likes being fit and most often when time permits, he dances to the traditional local music at the palace. <laughs> everyone keeps asking is how does he attract these women all these beautiful young damsels that get attracted to him that love to marry him that love to be with him forever and he went further to say that he does nothing special he only pays school fees and when these ladies finish school they fall head over heels to be with him they long to stay with him forever they want to be part of his life isn't that amazing which has simply shown that he is not a sheep of the old block rather the old block himself and he has mastered his craft he has perfected his game and he knows how best to play it recently one of the wives turned 23 olori anwa labo she finally revealed the secret why she married alafi of oyo who is 81 and she went on to say that she's not regretting ever getting married to alafi of oyo and she explained this during an exclusive interview with bbc yoruba she went further to say that being married to one of the prominent kings in Yoruba land is a great privilege. She said that being a king's wife has taught her how to be humble, has taught her how to respect people outside, and how to relate smoothly with people because of the way she and elderly wives relate. She said that she has learned a lot of proverbs in the palace, and she has intention of writing a book on proverbs. Oh my god, a new book of proverbs. And during the interview, when she was asked about her husband, the king, Oba Adeyemi, she said that he is a kind person who shows love to all people around him and to people of Yoruba land, and that the king likes education a lot, that he sent all of them, that's the wife, to school. She explained that the king believed that if one sends a woman to school, one has educated her, her children, and her country. And she's not surprised that the king is always in the library. This is because the king likes education a lot. She said that the king is jovial and literally she has a bunch of things to say about a laughing of oil she went on and on and on she explained that she found happiness and peace of mind in her marriage to Obam. she said anything she wants the king used to give to her and the king satisfied her in all aspects she said all that she wanted in life she found in her marriage and that she has never regretted the decision she made in life on what people used to say about her social media she said that she didn't care whatever people say about her that people should verify whatever they say before saying it 
One thing I know about this queen, Anu Oluwa Boy, is that she's ever ready for her haters, people that lambast her on social media. She's ever super ready for them because sometime last month in July, she took to her Instagram page to call out people who are after her, saying that those who call her husband old, that she's telling them that he's not an old man, that it is her life and her choice. She also addressed those that say that she looks like Bob Risky and question if Bob Risky is not a human being. So she went further to say that there are some people who have been abusing her saying that she married an old man all in the name of being a queen. Whereas most of these people criticizing her are in her DM begging her for one thing or the other. That please her husband is not an old man, it is her life, it's her choice. And she went further to post on her Instagram stories that what is it that we haven't heard or seen on social media, especially IG. Also she advised her fans and those people criticizing her on Instagram to use their page for meaningful things and not only posting pictures by so doing they will learn and make money on Instagram platform and also boost their financial capacity and stop begging for money on Instagram the begging of some Nigerians on Instagram is really getting out of hand but whichever way this Instagram platform or any social media platform is helping the queens all these oloris to be able to mingle with people to interact with their fans because it's not really easy being a king's wife in as much as they want to promote it to be very easy but sometimes it can be very lonely but with their social media platform they're interacting with their fans and promoting their products because some of them are brand ambassadors to certain companies they're making maximum use of their Instagram handles and even social media platform generally recently when Dami had her bad day and she also took to her Instagram page to express herself one good thing about them is that whenever they're celebrating their birthdays or any special moment in their life. They also acknowledge their husband, the king. They send a lot of goodwill messages to him. So and she took to her Instagram handle to write that Wednesday 5th of August was her birthday and it's by special grace of God that she's a year older. She cherished so many things, her parents, her son, friends, associates, all the queen in the palace of the Allah she for you who are like mothers to her. She appreciate their tutelage and mentorship. Thank you so much and above all, Oba Aleyeluwa, His Imperial Majesty Oba Lamidi, Ola Yuwala Adeyemi, Three Ikubaba, Yeye Dia Laughing of Oyo, her mentor, inspirer, motivator, her husband. May Allah bless him. Happy birthday to her. So how good is this? She was not even left alone, even when Anu also penned her, her own sweet message to the king. She went further to acknowledge that it's a beautiful chapter of her life and she can only be thankful and grateful to Almighty God. She went further to sing praises and adoration to the members of the palace and also her king, her husband, his imperial majesty, Oba, who according to her has been the Gamaliel under whose feet she had continued to learn and he teaches her to be focused. This sounds really good and nice but one thing I find very confusing is how the media presents them. They say Queen Dami is the youngest queen, then they come again to say Queen Badirat is the youngest queen, Queen Anu is the youngest queen, so I don't really know who is the youngest among all of them, but what I know is that there are so many young queens in the palace. Queen Badirat Adeyemi, fondly referred to as Olori Olam, is a queen that is known to be very close to the monarch and she is very fashionable does not display any sign of being uncomfortable with the king's age she's a mother of two sons and she's said to be one attending to the king's needs in the palace recently she was involved in a controversy surrounding an illicit affair with Kwan Wan Wasu Ayanze allegedly which two of them debunked immediately Kwan Wan released a statement saying that he never did such a thing Ever since news made ground on the internet days ago that Allah Fin for you has taken a new wife, a lot of people were are linking the on a personality Oluwa Toyi Oki, saying that she is the wife. However, Oluwa Toyi came out to debunk the news saying that she cannot deny the fact that there is no resemblance between her and Allah Fin's wife. However, that she cannot marry her father or her grandfather's mates because of anything. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that these two ladies in any way resemble? Can you take her for, can you mistake her for a laughing wife? I'm gonna sign off here, stay healthy and safe.
remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to my channel if you've not done already remember to turn on your notification bell so that you can get notification whenever i upload a new video what happens is that when you click on subscribe button it will show you the bell and turn on all notifications so that you'll be able to receive all the notifications i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye